Okay, President Seller, <coughs> uh, esteemed guests, uh, partners, panelists, uh, colleagues and friends, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning and thank you for joining us on this uh, very special day. I'm Kyuk Shin, uh, director of the Schoenstein Asia Pacific Research Center, or what we call A Park. It's not APEC, A Park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled to welcome you all uh, to this conference, Innovate Taiwan, as we inaugurate the Taiwan program at Stanford. Today marks the beginning of an exciting journey of discovery and collaboration. And our mission is very clear, to inspire new generations of Stanford students to engage with uh, Taiwan uh, deeply and insightfully, to deepen our understanding of Taiwan, <clears throat> to share this knowledge with the broader academic and practitioner uh, communities, and to contribute to Taiwan's long-term development. Uh, the establishment of this new program is a culmination of years of collective efforts by many partners within Stanford and beyond. I want to express my sincere appreciation to President Seller uh, and the university leadership uh, for their vision and steadfast commitment to this initiative. I am also profoundly grateful to our generous donors, some of who are uh, here with us today, like Winston and uh, Phyllis. Your extraordinary support has made it possible to establish this program and convene today's conference. Your philanthropy and belief in the transformative power of education and research are truly uplifting. We are deeply honored to partner with you in building a world-leading program on contemporary Taiwan at Stanford. So when I arrived uh, in the United States in 1983, the year APAC was established, all attention was directed up, uh, towards Japan. I think some of you may remember or may have forgot, with some attention or mention of Korea uh, and Taiwan. Okay, then, with the rise of China, Taiwan again was largely overlooked. In recent years, however, there has been renewed interest in Taiwan, primarily driven by two factors, I think heightened tensions in the strait, and the emergence of influential Taiwanese and Taiwanese American entrepreneurs, exemplified by TSMC and NDVIA. Students and community members have increasingly expressed uh, interest in studying Taiwan. So this is an uh, opportune time to launch a Taiwan program with a comprehensive focus on economic, social, cultural, educational, and health-related matters. Reflecting this vision, today's conference brings together diverse voices and perspectives to consider multiple topics. Today we have a fantastic lineup of speakers providing wonderful opportunities for intellectual exchange I am really excited for discussions and collective uh, endeavors that lie ahead. I am especially delighted to see you know, students, our students, actively participating as conference panelists and attendees. Your insights are invaluable, and I am confident you will play a crucial role in shaping the outcome of this event, Taiwan's role at Stanford, and our interaction with Taiwan. It is also our sincere aspiration to engage the Taiwanese community beyond 
Stanford in the activities of the Taiwan program. We recognize the importance of forging connections with the Taiwanese diaspora and fostering partnership with individuals and organizations in Taiwan to enhance our collective impact. In this uh, spirit, sincere thanks goes to our guests who have traveled all the way from Taiwan to join us today. I see many people from Taiwan here, right? Can you raise your hand? Wow, it's a lot of people actually came from Taiwan to attend. So let's be close. So your presence today underscores the significance of the path we are embarking on. We are deeply grateful for your support and enthusiasm. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce our next speaker, uh, Stanford President, uh, Dr. Richard Seller. Okay, Dr. Seller became the university 12th president on September 1 of last year. He's a classic scholar. I don't think he have expertise on Taiwan, but a classic scholar who has previously served in several academic leadership roles, including as dean of the University of Hum Humanities and Science at Stanford, also provost and dean of the social science division of the University of Chicago. A dedicated uh, teacher, okay, Dr. Uh, Seller has also published widely on okay, Roman, social, economic, and cultural history. So President Seller, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. The floor is yours. Thank you. So it's a real pleasure to be here this morning with you, uh, to give you a warm welcome on behalf of the university, but also a personal warm welcome. Uh, I only hope that uh, we can provide the kind of hospitality to reciprocate for the warm welcome that I got in Taiwan six years ago when I visited. Uh, this conference is important because it brings together distinguished academic and industry leaders to consider modern Taiwan's challenges and opportunities. Um, I have looked at the program, uh, and the program looks very promising with segments on cultural and social trends, health policy, economic growth, uh, and innovation. Uh, I wish I could stay with you through the day, but there are other things going on on campus. Um, uh, it's also a moment to celebrate the opening of the Taiwan program at the Walter Shornstein Asia Pacific Research Center. Uh, this program, like today's conference, comes, of course, at an important time. Uh, our world is at a moment of change, and Taiwan is navigating and helping to lead the transformation in society, industry, and more. The Taiwan program will provide a forum to discuss these trends, to advance research and teaching as Taiwan is clearly in a role of a beacon of democracy in today's world. The program, I hope, will do what Stanford does best, that is to provide a cross-disciplinary, university-wide hub where scholars from across campus and beyond can collaborate in the study of contemporary Taiwan. The program will produce scholarship that extends beyond academic boundaries, aiming to inform, enrich, and engage policymakers, industry leaders, and other stakeholders. It will also prepare the next generation of students and scholars on Taiwan. And here uh, I echo what uh, Giwok said about welcoming students. The Taiwan program also advances the university's and my own personal goals of global engagement more broadly. Uh, these international ties are crucial. Cross-border knowledge sharing is essential to discovery and innovation. Uh, I study the Roman world where uh, the only way to get rich was by going to war against your neighbor and enslaving the, the conquered. Uh, 
that was a zero-sum game. Uh, the extension of knowledge to improve the human condition is not a zero-sum game. Uh, that can be uh, uh, something that can be expanded for the benefit of all. So the new program uh, will add to Stanford's existing strong relationships and research uh, partnerships in Taiwan, which include uh, a vibrant and, I know from personal experience, a generous alumni community, uh, active Taiwanese student community on campus, the Hoover Institution's project on Taiwan in the Indo-Pacific region, which supports research about Taiwan's democracy, society, and strategic position. Uh, and a new, Taiwan, a new Taiwan science and technology hub, facilitating connections with ta Taiwanese partners in science, technology, and engineering. This program uh, will serve as another bridge to our partners in Taiwan, bringing together ideas and perspectives that enrich and inform. It also underscores our belief in the importance of the U.S.-Taiwan relationship and our recognition of Taiwan's important role in world affairs. So let me end with congratulations to APARC Director Giyok Shin, uh, uh, our generous supporters, and everybody who has made this program possible. So thank you, and I wish you a successful day.